in this video we discuss about viscosity dynamic viscosity kinematic viscosity newton law of viscosity and unit of all the type of viscosity so first we understand what is definition of viscosity viscosity is defined as the property of fluid property of fluid means viscosity is property for liquid or a gas it is not a property for solid which offer which offer resistance to the moment of one layer of fluid over another adjacent layer of fluid here we see this diagram this is the land and from this land the water is flowing suppose it is river or canals the water is flowing so water is flowing for a certain height in a certain height there is a various layer of a fluid is there or a various layer of water is there so this is called as the one layer this is called as the adjacent layer means it is called as the second layers and between these two layers there is a certain distance is there and this distance is called as the dy and this velocity is continuously reduced when the water is flowing to the ground so at this ground level the water have a zero velocity and at the top top layer of the water the it have the maximum velocity okay so that is a certain layer of velocity is reduced at the every adjacent layers of the fluids it is called as the viscosity so here we mention it is the property of fluids now what about the solid so for the solid we use the term friction so there is a moment between the two solid particles at that time the some friction is occur so we walk on the road so there is a friction between our shoes and the road is takes place so instance of the friction this word is called as the viscosity for the fluid when two layer of a fluid distance divide apart so here we see this is the one layer of the fluid this is second layer of the fluids and distance between these two layer is the dy move one over another at a different velocity the velocity is u and u plus du as shown in a figure so here we see this layer have a velocity u and this layer have a velocity u plus du the viscosity together with relative velocity causes shear stress acting between the fluid layers so due to the shear stress that is the relative velocity concept is happen the top layer cause shear stress on the adjacent lower layer so this is the top layer and this is the adjacent layers the top layer causes shear stress on this adjacent layer while the lower layer causes shear stress on the adjacent top layer so this shear stress is proportional to the rate of change of velocity with respect to y y means with respect to this layer of water so it is denoted by symbol tau so what is meaning of tau tau is the shear stress so shear stress is directly proportional to du upon dy so what is du du is the change in velocity and dy is the distance between these two layers so tau is the shear stress and shear stress is proportional to rate of change of velocity rate of change of velocity means it is du and with respect to the y y means it is the distance between these two layer now we can convert this proportionality into the equality so when we convert proportionality into equality we need to add the one constant and this constant here added it's called as the mu and mu is called constant proportionality and it is known as the coefficient of dynamic viscosity or only viscosity this mu is called as the dynamic viscosity or simply it's called as the viscosity or it is also called as the coefficient of dynamic viscosity now what is du upon dy du upon dy represent the rate of shear strain or rate of shear deformation or velocity gradients from above equations we can also able to write down that the mu is equal to tau upon du upon dy so this mu is called as the dynamic viscosity it is also called as the coefficient of dynamic viscosity so viscosity is also defined 
as the shear stress required to produce unit rate of shear strains now we can understand the unit of viscosity so now what is the unit of viscosity so we need to put the dimension of the quantities in a equation of viscosity so what is equation uh, equation of viscosity so mu is the viscosity so mu is equal to shear stress upon change of velocity divided by change of distance so it is a similar equation okay tau is shear stress this is change in velocity and this is the distance so shear stress is the force upon area velocity is the length upon time and the change in distance it is also the length so here we written it is a 1 upon length now this length and length is cancel and this time is going upper side so it is a force into times divided by area so area is making by the length into length so we can mention instance of the area it is a length square now for si system unit of viscosity is so suppose the unit of force in si system is newton so here we written the n unit of time in si system is second so here we mention the seconds and the unit of length is meter so here meter square we mentions and newton upon meter square is written as the pascal so it is a pascal into seconds in mks unit unit of viscosity is the kgf into second upon meter squares so we can put individual unit of these parameters then we get the various units in a cgs system unit of viscosity is dyne into second upon centimeter square or it is also called as the poise so one poise is equal to 1 upon 10 newton into second per meter square so one poise is equal to 1 upon 10 into newton into second per meter squares now before moving ahead i request to like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to fluid mechanics and hydraulic machines or other subject of mechanical engineering for the fmhm various link is provided in descriptions as well as in a car for other subject i request to visit the playlist now we understand the newton law of viscosity so newton law of viscosity stated as the shear stress on a layer of flowing fluid is directly proportional to rate of shear strains so newton law of viscosity says that shear stress is proportional to rate of shear strain now what is shear stress shear stress is tau what is shear strain it is du upon dy so this thing we already study in a first slides but we can again study because it is called as the newton's law of viscosity so by introducing a constant of proportionality it is called as the coefficient of viscosity mu in this relation so instance of this proportionality we convert in constant and we add the one constant that is called as the mu so this is called as the newton's law of viscosity now the next term is the dynamic viscosity so it is also called as the absolute viscosity in simple word it is the proportionality constant in a equation of newton law of viscosity means it is the mu proportionality constant means it is the mu in a equation of newton law of viscosity so it is denoted by mu so unit of dynamic viscosity in si system is newton into second per meter square that we already derive in last to last slide it is defined as the shear stress per unit rate of shear strain it is simple dynamic viscosity mu is equal to shear stress upon rate of shear strains so it is tau upon du upon dy now kinematic viscosity is different so what is kinematic viscosity kinematic viscosity is defined as the ratio of dynamic viscosity to the mass density of fluids means mathematically kinematic viscosity is equal to dynamic viscosity divided by density of fluid rho and kinematic viscosity is denoted by nu and mathematically it is written like this way kinematic viscosity nu is equal to dynamic viscosity divided by mass density dynamic viscosity is mu and mu divided by mass density mass density is denoted by rho so unit of kinematic viscosity is meter square per seconds so while in cgs unit it is written as the centimeter square per second in si system it is denoted as meter square per seconds so kinematic viscosity 
is also known as the stock so one stock is equal to one centimeter square per second is equal to 10 days to minus 4 meter square per second so one stock is equal to one centimeter square per second and is equal to 10 days to minus 4 meter square per seconds centi stock means one divided by 100 stock it is called as the centi stocks so thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video subscribe my channels and don't forget to share with your friends